To me, refreshes are so important. Once we become adults and we start working, we're doing our job pretty much every day, over and over again, year after year. Sometimes you just get tired of it. My name is Joy Cho, and I'm the founder and creative director of Ojoy. Oh Ojoy oh is a lifestyle brand that I started in 2005. To me, a refresh is how we can look at things in new ways. Sometimes it's making a dramatic change, but sometimes it's just looking at things that we love that we can keep doing more of, things that we don't love that we can get rid of, things that are gonna keep things new and exciting and keeping us inspired. Whatever it is you might be going through in your life, I'm gonna show you five tips for refreshing your career. Here's where we need to think about how do we turn dreams into goals. Dreams are the big, big things that we wanna accomplish, right? But I think what ends up happening is people feel so overwhelmed with this big thing. But how do you actually get there? Goals to me make them more attainable. It's taking that dream and breaking it down into steps. Now let's break it down into the five or 10 goals that you're gonna need to accomplish to be able to get yourself to that dream. They might be step-by-step, step, they might be all separate. Whatever it is, let's take a look, write them down, because it's gonna help you see all the things that might need to happen beforehand. And then one by one, you can approach it and see what makes sense to start with, what feels attainable right now, what feels like you might need a little bit more work or time or practice to get to, and that will help you put a roadmap together to slowly get to that dream. One thing I like to think about when we're evaluating refreshes and what that looks like is think about what do you love that you're doing now? Those are the things to write down and think about because those are what you're gonna to wanna to keep bringing forward as you figure out your refresh. Whether you are a freelancer, someone who is self-employed, or you are working for another company, you can apply this to your job no matter what. Let's say you're working at a company and there are parts of your job that you love and parts that you don't, but you're looking to either transition, you're looking to see if your boss will help you move into a different department. The only way that you can go after that change or that transition is to know what you're really looking for. And to know what you're really looking for, you should be focusing on those things that you enjoy so that you can be confident about those and you can share with other people who might be able to help get you there what you love and what you'd love to do more of. Not only thinking about the things that you love now, but are there things that you used to love that maybe you forgot about or things that have just kind of fallen by the wayside, hobbies, projects, ideas that you used to think about and then life took over. Think about those because I promise you they will help you find out what your next move will be. Just as we are thinking about what are the things that we love that we wanna move forward with in a refresh, let's also think about the things we wanna leave behind. Every job, every career is gonna have its ups and downs, but there's usually some things that we don't love that maybe we can either transition out of, pass on to somebody else, or figure out ways to do less of that as we head into our refresh. This is what we're gonna turn again to writing it down, flushing it out. Because for me to be able to look at that side of that piece of paper that maybe have your loves, let's also look at the things that have your dislikes. This is the things you wanna leave behind. Write it down. See what comes out. Are there ways to fix why you don't like them or are there ways to be able to start moving away from them? If you are a business owner, it might be a matter of that means that someone else needs to do it in your company. Maybe you need to hire someone for that role or sometimes it means that part of your career or your job or your business is not for you. Remember, to be able to find joy in what we do. You need to be able to really focus on the things that not only you love, but that you're really good at. And the thing is, the things that you love are the things that you tend to be good at. The things that you don't love are the things that you tend to not be as good at. So these things come very naturally with an evolution and with a refresh. So think about those things that you could leave behind as you head into the next chapter.
Now that we've taken our dreams and put them into some actionable goals and done a bunch of self-reflection, we're gonna do some research so we can move confidently into the next phase of our refresh. We want to be able to figure out either how to learn it, who we can ask, who we can interview, any of those things to help you get the experience, the know-how, the skills to be able to do that next thing you want to incorporate into your job and into your career. It might be something that you just need a little brush up. Maybe it's something like photography that you did a really long time ago, but you haven't worked on your skills in a while. Easy, you can take a class. Or what if it's something where you like the idea of a job, but you don't really know how it works. You wanna see the inner workings. That's when you can go and see whether it's people you know, people who you follow on social media to get a better idea of what is actually involved. Here's an area where research helped me to figure out a refresh in my career. I was designing graphics and logos and lots of things for other brands, I realized I really wanted to design some physical, tangible products. I knew that required a lot of upfront capital, which I didn't have. And so I thought that I could do it with a stationary line because paper is a little less expensive than pretty much anything else that you need to manufacture. I had to do a lot of research to figure out how that actually works and if I could actually do it. I emailed and I called different people with stationary lines that I knew about through social media. I talked to people who ran stores and I did various types of research to realize not only was it way more work than I realized, but that I actually was up for the task of doing that work. So within a couple years, I did launch my own stationary line at a trade show. And I had done that because I was prepared having done all the research leading up to it. So research really is the key to me to evolving your career, to refreshing it to a place that is going to make you really excited in this next phase of your life. We have done our research. We have a clear idea of what we wanna go into our refresh with a new idea, a new part of our job, something that we're really excited about. Now, here's the time that we wanna show people what we can do. Let's say you're a graphic designer at your ad agency and you wanna do more illustrations. Your boss hasn't seen that you know how to draw. They have no idea. So show what you can do. Show some illustrations for an example project that a client would need. This is how your boss is gonna know that you could do it and potentially transition into that role. Don't be afraid to take advantage of what I call word of mouth, right? So word of mouth is when you tell people about your new business, this new thing that you can do. Word of mouth to me is to be able to share that online. So you might not have the ability to share your new work in a physical setting, but let's say you can show some of that work examples on your Instagram, on your personal Facebook, on your LinkedIn, and whether it's sharing with the people directly involved in helping you transition, or whether it's people who are gonna help you just give you positive affirmation that the stuff that you're doing is exciting and that they're showing how proud they are of the work that you've done. Showing the things that you figured out that you wanna do is going to be how you're going to get it out there, how people are gonna find out, and how you're gonna be able to grow into this next role and this next phase. When we're thinking about a refresh, remember, it's all about taking those big dreams and putting them into actionable, smaller goals. It's about thinking about what we love and what we wanna do more of, then thinking about what we wanna to put to the side and maybe leave behind. Then doing the research and figuring out what's involved to get you to the next level, and finally showing people what you can do. There's gonna be a time, multiple times throughout your career that you are gonna feel the need to change things up. So I'm so excited for you to take these tools and learn what that is for you and go off to your next refresh. I can't wait to see it. If you enjoyed this video, click below to see my Skillshare class on how to pitch to brands that you wanna work with. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.